In this video today, we're going to talk about ligament and flavum hypertrophy. What the heck does that mean? It's a ligament in your back that increases in size and it makes it difficult for you to stand and walk. If we haven't met, I'm Dr. Orlando Landrum, an interventional pain and regenerative medicine specialist that helps patients understand why they have pain, what you can do about it, and how to be able to win the battle against it by punching it in the face and getting back to leading the life that you deserve. Today, we're going to talk about a mouthful, which is called ligamentum flavum hypertrophy. So let's divide, define that. So when we define that, the ligamentum is a ligament, and it is contained within the posterior part of the back that connects a portion of the spine that's called a lamina. It's present on both sides, and it normally helps us to be able to maintain the shape of the spine, particularly when we're in flexion. So when we bend forward. That ligament is comprised of about 80% elastin and about 20% collagen, at least initially. But as we age, as we mature, that ligament composition changes to less elastin and more collagen. And traditionally, there's calcium deposition within the ligament that can cause it to have an increase in size, a decrease in flexibility, and a decrease in strength. This can result in a narrowing of the spinal canal. The canal is only so big, and it contains the spinal cord and CSF fluid. When that canal narrows, it can cause something that's called spinal stenosis. And the classic sign for this is something that's called shopping cart sign, which is basically when someone has to bend forward and they rest on their arms. By doing so, it provides pain relief and it lets you be able to stand and walk longer. Traditionally, most patients are like, this sucks. I don't want to be bent over. I don't want to have that feeling of not being able to stand erect and maintain good posture. And I really just don't want to look old. Well, there's a lot of different treatments for ligamentum flavum hypertrophy that don't require major surgery and can be able to provide some benefit to that canal and that squeeze or stenosis that's present there. There are many conditions that are associated with ligamentum flavum hypertrophy from everything such as uh, degenerative disc disease to potential disc herniation. There's some other corollaries like increased body mass index, and sometimes it's more frequently found in the female gender than necessarily the male gender. But at the end of the day, it's a personalized evaluation that really helps be uh, able to assess whether this is something that's impacting you. And then from there, we can talk about different treatment options. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button. Question of the day, have you been told that you have ligamentum flavum hypertrophy or has someone told you had spinal stenosis and if it was from a differing nature, what was that other cause? If you found this video helpful, let us know. If there are things that we should do better or that you wanna know about that we didn't cover, let us know. If this is something that was able to benefit you, we want to continue to provide this information to you and other people who might share a similar problem or issue. Let us know how it helped. Thank you so much. Have a great day. And let us always be able to help you punch pain in the face and get back to living a life that you deserve. Have a great day.